my early ages was a little bit difficult. I had to leave home at my early 10 years old because my parents couldn't afford to take care of everything, send me to school, and I had to go out to look for things to do, like find jobs, to, to pay tuition for me to go to school, to take care of myself and other members of the family. But God provided everything. I started to do business because I like it, and it's because that I dream of to have my own company, but I'm not really a good technician. I don't really have the skills. And if I could find somebody that could give me all the techniques that, that I need to do better every day, I think that's what I'm looking for. Many Haitian business operators have commitment, drive, and business instincts, but often lack the skills to reach the sustainable success that leads to job creation. Partners Worldwide comes alongside entrepreneurs like Ilda. In an effort to fulfill their vision of creating 100,000 jobs in Haiti, Partners Worldwide seeks to find and support business owners throughout the country. Partners Worldwide, the way we're doing it in Haiti, not only we're looking to create sustainable jobs, but we're also trying to change the people that we're working with. My meeting with it there was good and that surprised me because we don't really have something like this in Haiti. In our culture, young people at his age don't really like to take initiative. Today we cover about eight different cities in, in, in Haiti. Within those cities, we have ongoing business training covering tools such as uh, accounting, basic accounting, uh, management principles and, and uh, finance and marketing for those businesses to improve and create more employment. Partners Worldwide designates global business affiliates from other countries to partner with local entrepreneurs and business owners like Ilda. Roger Stanage, an entrepreneur from Hot Springs, Arkansas, together with GoToNetwork, is the global business affiliate supporting the new Partners Worldwide effort here in Jeremy. They can make Haiti one of the greatest places. Today, we met for the first time with a brand new group of about a dozen businesses, and we rented a little, little room at a restaurant, and we sat down and we presented to them okay. this well, idea. I said there was two parts to the training. One is pure business training, and the other is wisdom training. We want them, them to be the able to take what we're going to deliver from the scriptures and understand that that's wisdom for living. That's wisdom for running their businesses. And with the wisdom training, improve your life, relationship with your wife, and your children. So as we discussed it and laid out the plan, they had some great questions, great feedback. We kind of described to them how it would work, how often I would come. That I will be committed to be here about five times a year to help mentor you. How often Oscar would come, what kind of training they would receive from Partners Worldwide, what kind of training they would receive from our team in the way of wisdom training. And then we closed with a prayer for the businesses. And we feel like it was a really successful meeting. And Father, I pray that you would bless their businesses. With the ethical aspect of the church, combined with the intentional aspect of encouraging business development, we can be sure that we can have a good workforce and, and, and uh, a, a better country for the next generations. To me, this is a crucial project because if it does go well, and Partners Worldwide adopts this plan, they could do it all over the world, in every country they're in.